Okay. Now, more applications of binomial coefficients. We want to talk about lattice paths on a grid. So we take a grid in the plane, and we walk, and the only directions that are allowed are moves which are right and up. You cannot go down, and you cannot go left. Such paths are called lattice paths. Is it clear what the notion of a lattice path is? So a basic counting problem is how many lattice paths from 0, 0 to some specific value. I'm illustrating 6, 4. And so I have a lattice path from 0, 0 to 6, 4. 6 horizontal. I'm using traditional uh, coordinate system for the plane. Your first coordinate is horizontal and your second one is vertical. So how many lattice paths from 0, 0 to 6, 4? And the answer is m plus n, choose m. In this case, 6 plus 4, which is 10, choose 6. Oh, somebody else says, oh, it's, it's 6 plus 4, choose 4. That's the same. 10 choose 6 is the same as 10 choose 4. And what's the explanation? What is a lattice path? It's a sequence of moves with each move being either an R or a U. R, U, R, R, U, the sequence. And what's the total length of the sequence? How many moves do you have to make? M plus N moves all together. But if you're going to wind up at M, N, how many of the moves are horizontal? M. How many moves are up? A vertical in. So lattice paths just correspond to bit strings, to subsets, to strings over a two letter alphabet. But a two letter alphabet where the number of moves of one size is specified, and that's why it's a binomial coefficient. Let me tell you a story about this. I have, as you already know, many stories. I was about 10. And yes, electricity had been discovered. <laughs> and there was a contest run by a soap producer, somebody who makes detergent. And the contest was a big array of letters, triangular array. And right down the middle were, were the letters Pyramid of Values. And then as you fell away, this way coming in, Pyramid of Values, and this <coughs> way coming in the other way, Pyramid of Values spelled backwards. And then the array was just filled in with all the letters. Is it clear what I'm saying? And the question was to count the number of ways to spell pyramid of values, starting from the P's, which were out here, and working your way towards the S. Now, I figured this out. I'm 10. And I, I thought, there is no human on the planet who is smart enough to do this except me. <laughs> so I'm certainly going to win this giant prize worth thousands and thousands of dollars, and I'll be rich, and I can escape the poverty of my childhood and all of these kinds of things. So I sent in my, my uh, contest application, and of course I did win. But so did you know 100,000 other people. Uh, it turns out that I was not the smartest human on the planet. And now, as a tiebreaker, we were asked to write our, an essay of what was our favorite, I'm, I'm going to make this up, Colgate Palmolive product and why. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, I did not do so well in round two. <laughs> but 
you see what I d discovered when I was 10 was the, the binomial coefficients. OK? Now to show you that one can eventually figure these things out, let's do that problem, that contest problem, together in our heads without any paper whatsoever. So this really, really, really was a dumb contest. Let's work one half of the problem. So the one half, pyramid of values is spelled this way. Pyramid of values is spelled this way. So you can start anywhere out there and work your way with a lattice path to here. Now, no going around or anything, just, just, just like this. How many ways to do that? When you can walk forward, or you can, if you like, turn around and walk backwards. So start here and spell pyramid of values backwards, starting with the S. How many choices are there to make? Two. You either go that way or that way. Make your choice. How many choices do you have? Two. How many choices do you have? Two. Two. You get the idea. Two. Two times two times two times two times two. How many times? Fifteen. I counted the letters. So the, the number of ways to go that way is two to the fifteenth. Now, how many ways to go this way? Two to the fifteenth. But one of the ways is counted twice, straight up. So total answer, 2 to the 15 times 2, which is 2 to the 16, minus 1. And I'll bet you that all of you in this room can do 2 to the 16 in your head, starting with 2 to the 10, which you know. So you'll get 2 to the 16 in 30 seconds. Subtract 1, that's the answer. Mail it in, and you too win round 1 in this really, really dumb competition. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a, quite a letdown.